in this lecture we will be studying about the basics of LTI systems which is the concept of linear and time invariant systems. So, we saw what linearity was that means, it should satisfy the property of superposition and we saw what time invariance was that means, if we delay the input by some n naught time steps the output is also delayed by the same time steps. Now, if a system has both linearity and shift invariance or time invariance it is called linear time invariant system and we extensively study linear invariant uh, time invariant systems um, in signal processing. So, let us see if it has any unique property to study this let us consider the following. Suppose h suffix k of n denotes the response of a system to an impulse at n equals k. That is we are giving some impulse delta n minus k and let us assume h k of n denotes the impulse response of the system to the impulse given at n equals k. So, we can write any sequence x of n in terms of the delta um, sequence right. So, this is basically k equals minus infinity to plus infinity x of k delta of n minus k. Why? Recall that delta of n minus k exists only when n equals k. So, that means, when n equals k this is 1 this thing happens to be 1 and therefore, when this is this just becomes x of n. So, any x of n can be written as um, basically modulated through this uh, delta sequence right. Now, since this system is a linear by superposition. So, y of n is basically the response to this x of n right y of n is the, is, is the response um, of the system to the input x of n and this is response to x of n which is expanded out using the delayed delta sequence and since t is linear we can say this is summa k equals minus infinity to plus infinity x of k bring in the map t here and t of delta n minus k. So, the validation to this step is linearity you may call linearity from a systems perspective if you are a mathematician you may say this is a linear map ok. Now, we can simplify this further we can say this is summation k equals minus infinity to plus infinity x of k and we said the response of the system to an impulse at time n equals k is h k of n right and we just replaced it in this form. Now, let us apply shift invariance because we said that the system is endowed with 
shift invariance property. Now, response to delta n minus k is h n minus k. So, you are h k of n can be replaced by h of n minus k right because it is shift invariance. So, therefore, response to the input delta n minus k delta n minus k will result in h of n to be delayed by k time steps which is h of n minus k. So, now we are sort of ready y of n is summa k equals minus infinity to plus infinity x of k h of n minus k and this is an important relationship because this operation is the convolution operation between sequences x of n and h of n right. So, from this step we can come to this the last step. because of shift invariance. So, now we have all the tools to study the response of a linear time invariant system to an arbitrary input. So, that means we have to apply convolution and convolution does not hold for nonlinear systems because you cannot satisfy the superposition principle and therefore, you will be violating at this step itself. A good example would be take x square n or x cube n I mean, it, it, I mean the input is some x of n let us say the output just squares the signal. So, obviously, you have cross terms that are appearing and that are that is a clear indication that it is a nonlinear system because it does not satisfy this uh, property of superposition. Now, if you have to ponder about this a little bit, think what is happening in y of n. First, there is a shifting because you have you are um, delaying h of n by k steps, there is a shift after reflection. So, this minus k indicates it is a reflection, there is a shift and reflection, um, then there is um, an addition after multiplication. So, you just multiply x k with h of n minus k and then you add. So, there are four important operations that are happening which is reflection. So, I give you h of k I give I, I get h of minus k reflection then shift because you have to get n minus k then you multiply and then you add and these operations these four operations um, basically define the uh, are, are part of the convolution. So, these four operations are part of convolution and convolution is an important property for LTI systems or linear time invariant systems. So, with this we are ending this. <coughs>